never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Hey guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to an another What If story. This is uh, What If Female Deku Was a Vampire Princess Part 1. Before we begin our story, I have a couple, you know, things to announce. Uh, a little bit, you know. If you guys want to wear, you know, the vampire, my other vampire What If and my werewolf What If and my water manipulation, that will be up on a poll tomorrow night. For the one what if I focus for the next four days on Thursday through Sunday and I also been working on the other what if that you know I will make an episode of when I knock off one of my others I'll show you the thumbnail of it so it's you know so you know excuse me for a second there it is. Thinking calling this one um, what if female ducky was um, Broly or you know was the same? Well, what what whatever which one I decide to name it. The this one if it's it's not gonna get made anytime soon. I just came up with the, the idea, so I haven't even thought about the story or what it's gonna be a uh, villain or um, vigilante. But enough about that. What if that you know for. Another time. As we cut to... Sorry, um... As we cut to Yuna. I think I called her Yuna. I think I did, so... Several years has passed since she's been released from her um, prison. Her coffin prison. Momo, Momo Yairozu hasn't been, hasn't been born yet. As several of her soldiers, as several of her, um, several of her people come in. She's, um, she has, where are you call it? She has to establish her, um, her territory in Japan. She has a, a mafia family, a mafia group that that has a um, what do you call it um, a front as a very very advanced company that deals with um, technology, cork research, and you know hero gear, stuff like that, and um, anti cork e equipment to nullify corks. The small company over the years became very big, rivaling the Yazarozus. As several of her people come in, boss, ma'am, the Yazarozus are being under attack. As she's like, what do you mean? It's around nighttime. It's the, it's the other vampires. They have grouped up and try to wipe out the vampire hunters. The Yazarozu, the vampire hunter family, try to wipe out their uh, bloodline. Rumor says that she's pregnant, so she's in a weakened state. And she's like, huh, interesting. Gather, gather our people. Let's wipe them out once and for all. Let's wipe those <laughs> those half breeds off the face of the earth. As they have um, over the years, she has been in introduced into you know the modern age of technology, so as bullets and guns and all of that neat stuff that you know mafia group likes using, and she's have developed you know. Several, several bullets that, you know, kills vampires. They're, um, 
They're silver bullets, laced silver bullets that um, have been laced and um, coated with, you know, garlic and um, holy water. As that, you know, goes on. Because um, silver does hurt vampires. It can actually kill vampires. Not pure bloods, but it could damage them quite, uh, quite a bit. So, these are turn-based vampires. So, they're not going to... These would kill them inst instantly. As we cut to the Yazarozu, he says, Mistress, we're being attacked. As several of her people are all bloody. And she's like, damn it. Sorry. Drop my phone. It's <laughs> like, damn it. Gather the rest of our unit. You know what to do. As she takes, as she takes the sword off the wall. It, it's, 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 it's melted. It was, um, her ancestor's blade. As you see a picture of, I think I named her Lulu. Medora, uh, Lulu Yazaruzu. And it's a portrait of her and a portrait of um, Yuna Rosefield. And she's like, one day I will, you know, sorry. <clears throat> one day I will, my family will, will, will fulfill that promise to the Rosefields. As you know, she unsheets the sword off the wall. As several of the vampires come at her, as she try to dodge them, as several several people bust through the door, goes through the window, grabs the vampires, kills them with silver swords, piercing their heart. As they begin shooting, several of the vampires. As you know, um, Mrs. Yairuzu doesn't know what's going on. As she sees a lady in a suit with blonde hair. Her eyes are red. And she you know, falls down to her knees. It's, you know, Rosefield. As you know, walks over to Mrs. Yairuzu. You should never be on your knees, Mrs. Yairozu. You should you should always be strong in front of in front of your people. And she's like, how when? I've been I was released a couple of years ago. We'll talk about this once we deal with the major threat. Here, as she, you know, puts her down on a tip on the chair. You should sit down. It's not good for the baby. As she singles her men. As the ear priest. Wipe them all out. As several of the vampires rush. To you know Yuna. As she grabs them both by the neck. Slams them in the ground. As she pulls out the gun. Shoots them in the head. As their body. You know, turns to dust. Yeah, she's such a disgusting half-breed. Yeah, she begins firing. Wiping them out. Wiping the majority of them out as... Damn it. What the hell is that? Who the hell is that? As several... One, one leader of the little ragtag rogue uh, vampires. Why are you with... Why are you joining... Why are you... um? Defending these vampire hunters. You're a vampire. You used to be on our side. As you know, and starts laughing. You, you literally call yourself vampires. It's quite, it's laughable, really. You're no vampire, as she rushes him, sticks her hand in his chest, grabs his heart, pulls it out, and drops it. As she swipes her hand, to the couple of the other ones on by his side. Before he falls. He swipes her hand. And they you know sideways cry chop. Chopping off several of their heads. As they all fall back. 
uh, several of her people, the Yazirozu Vampire Hunters, they all, you know, point out ever Yuna's people. As Mrs. Yazirozu says, put your hand, um, stand down. They're on our side. As they're like, what do you mean? What do you mean, um, what do you mean, <laughs> Mrs. Yazirozu? I'll explain everything. Everyone, calm down. As they do it, they're vis they're a little bit confused. As several will see the, the 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 portrait of her ancestor, and you know Yuna Rosefield. As you know, they're physically scared. As she walks over to um, Mrs. Yadrozu, picks her up. And she's like, what are you doing? You need to go to, uh, you need to get some rest. It's not good for, you know, a baby. I should know. After all, I'm a mother. We'll, dis we'll discuss things. To she has a couple cuts. I need to clean you up. As she takes her to her room. Her husband's out doing business. As she, you know... She treats her, and she's like, I can't believe, I can't believe you're actually free. As, she's, as, you know, Yuna mentioned, so, have you, have you seen uh, my daughter anywhere? Do you know her location? As, you know, she looks down, she's like, no, I, we were unable to find her. We were unable to find you, and we have, we, I've been searching. To fulfill an oath that my answer made. And she's like, an oath? What do you mean? After your disappearance, my ancestor made an oath to find you and your daughter no matter what. That oath that has carried on for the generations. I'm ashamed that I haven't fulfilled this promise. As you know, you know, you know, smiles. It's quite all right, Mrs. Yazirozu. Me and your family, we have a long history. But I'm back now. Don't worry. But I do want your help to f locate my daughter. If you're more than willing. If you're willing. And she's like, yeah, definitely, I, I will. But first, don't do anything to stress you out. And where is your mate? And she's like, what, my husband? Yeah, where is he? He's on a business trip. He literally left you alone, pregnant, at the manor, without <sighs> husbands. Very well. Guess I'll be taking care of you from now on. As you know, she's like, what do you mean? It's simple, Mrs. Yajirozu. Lulu might, uh, Lulu might has well been long Long has passed, but my but my alliance with your family hasn't changed. <coughs> Me and Lulu, we were good friends, like sisters. As she she explains the story of where they first met, as we're gonna cut to a you know a flashback. As Lulu, as oh sorry. Lulu, um, Yad of Roses, hunting down vampires. As she came across several dead vampires, as she sees a, a lady with, um, blonde hair, with red eyes, as she has one of the vampires by her throat. As she said, I told you, you know, half-breeds, to hide your presence with to not broadcast your existence to the humans. What did you do? You go around attacking several villages, broadcasting what you are, all the world to see. As she crushes him, pulls off his head, and throws him off the cliff. Pathetic. 
as she sends, you know, Lulu Yadarozu rushing her as she gently moves to the right as Lulu goes in for a swipe as she, you know, misses as she's like, damn it, vampire, prepare yourself. As, you know, you know, it's like, smile, oh, a human and a vampire hunter, I believe. That's vampire. That's vampire hunter gear. Interesting. Very well. I'll play along. As they clash for several hours, as Lulu Yazarozu is panting, as she's like, pretty impressive vampire. As as Yuna's like, huh? As she smirks. Indeed, you're very impressive too, dear. For a human, after all. You're a lot stronger than most of your kind. As she's like, because we're vampire hunters. My family has been vampire hunters for generations. As she's like, huh, interesting. As they're fighting, as they're talking at the same time. So. So how long has your van, so how long your family's been in the business? As she's like. It's like, why do you want to know, vampire? Out of curiosity. As she explains that, you know, her family, their generation was, um, use magic to, you know, make their off, their family stronger each generation. For, you know, the whole witch thing with the, with the, um, slayers happen in, in, in is what if. So, you know, the slayers are stronger, faster than uh, any human. So that will that will be a key focus on Momo Yazarozu's um abilities. But you know, let's let's continue. Only females in the Yazarozu family has this ability. So let's continue. As they're fighting back and forth with each other, and she's like, huh. As Lulu cuts Yuna Chen not chin, but her cheek. And she's like, huh, you got a solid hit. I'm impressed. Not many people could do that to me. As her skin heals in, 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 uh, instantly. <sighs> As she kicks Lulu away, hitting the tree. As when she finally tries to struggle up, she grabs her butt and neck and slams her into the um, ground. As she has her sword pointed to her neck. I win. And she's like, fine, do it then. As you know, you know, Rosefield's like, on sheaves her sword. And she, no, sheaves her sword. As Lulu's like, what are you doing, vampire? As she, you know, picks her up. As she hands her hand. She hands her hand out to gesture to grab. And she, look, well, well, she's a bit cautious. What your game is? What is your game, vampire? No game. What's your name? And she's like, I'm Lulu Yazarozu. I am Yuna Rosefield. Nice to meet you. And she's like, as several of the, several vampires show up, as Lulu, you know, lost her sword in the fight, it's way across the field. It's, it like, I hit a tree and she tried to rush over there and grab it. It's she finally pulled it out, but it breaks. It's like damn it, my weapon. And as you know, Yuna's like here, and she tosses one of her spares. And she's like, thanks. This is the same. This was a gift. This this is what the same sword that um Mrs. Yairs are used. As they go and <laughs> how. How about it, Lulu? How about it, you know, vampire hunter? Care to join forces? And she's like, why are you, why are you helping me? Against vampires. Huh. Don't, 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 don't compare me to these, in, these half-breeds. Only true vampire around here is me. And she, they go in, they do tag team. As they wipe them out easily. As they both... 
Lulu's panting. He's like, you're, you're impressive for a vampire. It's several pure bloods. Now, um, there's several other families of pure bloods out there. So, the one of the, sh I don't know if I'm wanting to do two ships or one, but the main, the main ship that I have planned, um, is from a off brand. It's a different royal family line. So, you know, Iziku, and, oh, sorry, um, Female Dawn is not related to other, um, pure bloods. But the vampire curse or vampirism all originate from Yuna. She's the mother of all vampires. So as several of um, Yuna's member family comes in, Rel, as they're like, Empress Yuna, as they're they're in Japan, so it wouldn't be Queen, it would be Empress. But they're like. As uh, Lou's like Empress, a human, as they're gonna rush over there, as she stop. This one, I like her. As you know, she's hurt still a little bit, as she's bleeding from her side, and she's like, oh. as the carriage rolls up, and she's like, she about to go in. Lulu, come with me if you. Would you like to come? And she's like, what are you like? I, why should I trust you? <coughs> Chew, I'm a vampire. You're a vampire hunter. Logically, we should be at each other's throats, but I don't like to follow that, that set of rules. I need to get you cleaned up. Why don't you come to my, um, my humble abode? And I'll get you cleaned up. And don't worry. No vampires in my, in my family will... Will will attack you, as over the years they gain like a really close friendship. As she's you now when she finally leaves the um, the Rosefield Manor or the palace, as she's like, "Thank you for all your help, <laughs> Yuna. Never thought I would be friends with a vampire, but whatever." And she's like, no, keep, keep, sorry, uh, Lulu, as a gift. The gesture of, of our friendship. My family and yours will always be allies, no matter what happens in the world. If anything happens, come to me and I'll help you, no questions asked. And she's like, thanks, as that's, as we go back to the current time where she's explaining everything to Mrs. Yajirozu, as she, you know, She's visibly shocked. She's never, she knows of her ancestor, but she doesn't know details of why the Rosefield and them have an alliance. And she's like, she's a bit, you know, crying a little bit because, you know, part of her history was lost a long time ago, but she's emotional because she knows she's pregnant, so. As you know, it's like, no, no crying, Mrs. Yai Rosie. We need to get you, why don't you get some rest? I'll be, I'll be around. In the morning, we'll talk some more, then I'll leave. And she's like, can you stay? As you know, they're going to become friends, so, you know. <sighs> you're just like Lulu. You guys are, you're exactly like your, um, you're exactly like Lulu. Very well. I will stay. As we cut to, um, as we cut to a old ruin, as there is a, um, there's a group of werewolf hunters targeting some werewolves as the last ditch effort of this, uh, rogue, rogue of a werewolf pack enters, um, a old ruin somewhere Somewhere unknown, a unknown location, a unknown country. As it's, it's in a deep forest. As they see, you know, old statues of symbolizing a demon. That's because you know there are uh, vicious that people that put her in there.
I was just like, here lies the demon. All who enter here will be annihilated. All who enter here will be cursed for life. All that, you know, creepy stuff that normally happens in the ruins. I was like, come on, please. We need to get out of here. As you know, the pack has, you know, a human. As they're like, bring the human. As they, you know, venture into the ruin, as several booby traps, several of their numbers have been killed. Damn it, this place is a death trap. But hopefully the traps kill the, you know, the werewolf hunters. Same as us. As they enter a main throne room. As I see that coffin that's in the thumbnail. It's like, what the hell is this? As they're sniffing. As they step back. I sense a vampire. I smell that. That's a vampire smell. It's coming from that coffin. As several, you know. Several of the vampire hunters shoot as several of them get killed. As um, the pack, the um, the leader of the uh, little rogue group, grabbed the girl by the throat. It's an unknown girl, so you know she she's not important. As he jumps, pack. As several of the bullets that hit the coffin. The lid, you know, it's on standing up, so, as the lid, you know, the coffin, the, the, falls down from, um, sorry, from the centuries of being there, on, you know, not being, um, kept in neat condition, as it falls down, as everyone sees, you know, Everyone sees a young girl, her arms crossed, as there's a silver stake, as the vamp, as the werewolf hunters, <laughs> this must have been a vampire, doesn't matter, kill the werewolves, we need to bring our, um, I might make her into an actual character in the story, but I'm not totally sure yet, but for right now, she'll be unknown. As the girl grabs something sharp in her pouch, as it's a small silver um, knife, stabs the werewolf as as she gets away from uh, from uh, from his grip. As she, as you know, the mother oh um, not the mother but a lady walks in, starts shooting the werewolf, the man. As he begins to transform, it's like, damn it. He's about to, um, he's, he's in transformation. As that happens, as a big wolf pops out, as it begins slaughtering their men. As the, uh, you know, a lady takes the werewolf in the face, as it like that. As, you know, daughter, get over there. I'll handle this. As she sheaves a sword, you know, it's like, you know, a silver blade. Come, werewolf, I'll put you down. <laughs> Especially when you target my family. As that happens, as they, um, as the werewolf pinned the lady down, about to kill her, as the daughter jumped on his back, starts stabbing his neck, as she. As he throws her against the coffin, as she sees, you know, this, the stake in the heart of the, you know, dawn, as she reaches it, hopefully this, you know, hopefully this thing's dead, as she pulls it out, as she begins to stab the werewolf as it howls in pain, as he's like, you, you're dead. As he kicks the mother, you know, the leader of the uh, group of the vampire hunters. Not not the vampire hunters, but the werewolf hunters against the wall. As a young girl is, you know, the girl is, you know, not crawling, but, you know, she's on her hands, sitting down as she's, you know, trying to go backwards. 
as she hits the coffin, as slowly and surely dawn awakens, as there's a there's a bit of an aura, like a very bad aura that you know stuff's about to hit the fan. As she slowly opens her eyes, as she gasps for air, as she's, you know, kind of hungry, as the first thing she sees is the werewolf, as she lunges forward, lunges forward, grabs the werewolf by the, um, by the neck, throws him against the wall, as she, as she leeches on him. Starts biting him on the neck, draining him dry. As the uh, werewolf finally dies, as the mother of the um, werewolf hunter, sweetheart, are you alright? And she's like, I'm fine, mother. And she's like, we have another problem. I don't know who this vampire is, but I can tell she's dangerous. As she's as she pulls the werewolf head off the body, throws it against the wall. As she's like, where are they? As, you know, the werewolf hunters are scared. Where, who are the vampires who put me in here? I want them dead. I'll kill them all. As you know, she's upset. Uh, several of the vampire, not sorry, several of the werewolf hunters load up as um, as the young girl, you know, walks over to her. Daughter, what are you doing? We're not here to hurt you. Let me, small pause real fast. Okay, I got the idea who this girl is now. Well, I really don't right now, but um, we'll continue. Now, um, this has happened. This scene has happened um, several years. I forgot to mention that. So, um, Momo Yazirozu has been born already. And, you know. Yeah, there, there, there was a time skip. At least, um. There's a time skip of 16 years. So, you know, everyone's all aged up to their right age. So, let you guys know this. As the girl is, you know, Melissa Shield. That's how I'm going to do this. It's like, I'm Melissa Shield. As, you know, and what are your name, Miss Vampire? And she's like, I am... As she's still a little bit weak, a little bit, as your wife to blood in her face, and she's like, fine human, I'll tell you my name. I am Dawn Rosefield. As you know, she, 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 uh, she cackles a little bit. <laughs> uh, what, what, what a coincidence. Oh, listen, you know, I'm a shield and so are you. As you know, the vamp, you know, kind of smiles a little bit. I guess that is kind of funny. As you know, Yuna kind of, you know, falls down. Not Yuna, but um, Dawn falls down as Melissa, Melissa Shield catches her. As her mother is like, be careful, it's still a vampire. And she's like, yeah, mom, but she's not, I don't think she's going to hurt me. We should get out of here. As she's like, we should kill that thing. As you know, Melissa's just like, no. She hasn't done anything wrong. She saved my life. She could easily, um, she could easily have, of, you know, attacked me. Which is fine, daughter. You know, your father's going to be in fear. Your father's going to be, uh, going to get mad. <laughs> it's like, daddy will be fine. I know Daddy doesn't like the whole werewolf hunted thing, but yeah, I'm doing that. As you know, they transport. You know, as um, Melissa's shield helps Don into the vehicle. 
Well, the helicopter as they fly to the airport. As you know, they're going back to Japan. They're going to I Island, and then we're going to stop it there. So yeah, Melissa Shield is a part of this one. If I haven't, you know, made her part in, in, in any of my what ifs before. So yeah, she's not going to be a ship, but she's going to be, you know, a friend to, you know, our favorite vampire. So hope you guys have a good night and day. Judging my time zone. Sorry. Right, bye.